Hi, in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as Calorie Estimation of Food and Beverages using Deep Learning which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So in this project, the authors have proposed a deep learning model where the system will be predicting the food images and also estimating the calorie of the predicted image. Basically, this will be useful for the people who has the uh, problem of obesity or the people who is following the dietary food because obesity causes the most of the chronic diseases and also especially like uh, heart attack uh, diabetes kinds of things so for that purpose this kind of application is being developed by the author and uh, here in this paper the authors have used the six layer convolutional neural network cnn architecture and also that they have used 20 classes and, uh, and kindly note that uh, their accuracy is about uh, 78.7 uh, for the validation accuracy and the training accuracy is 93.29 and this is all about the base paper but we are not going to use the same so we are going to enhance that but by, by using different methodology so keeping this base paper as an existing system so we are going to propose our proposed model so our proposed model is developed using the mobile net architecture and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 97 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 98 percentage and the data set that we have used is food 101 data set which is like 101 classes as they have classes the base paper classes is only 20 classes we are going to use one out one classes and here you can see the, the base paper title calorie estimation food and beverages using deep learning and our proposed project title is smart you can use any of the thing whichever is suitable for you our the smart bite that is deep learning driven food image food recognition calorie estimation for intelligent diet monitoring and this is the I believe base paper and this is our proposed abstract which contains about the proposed model so where we are using mobile at architecture and the data set that is food 101 data set which contains around 37,000 food images of 101 food classes and also the accuracy of it has been mentioned and as I said the existing system is about the base paper that we have taken up and the proposed system is the proposed model that we have implemented and these are the advantages and disadvantages of the existing and proposed system and here you can see the system architecture of the project and now let us see the i'll show you the data set so in the model folder we have, have this data set test and train so in the train folder you can see the total is 101 so as i said that is 101 classes of food images so we have taken this like uh, for example apple pie beef and uh, you can see some sample chicken wings crab cakes french fries nachos omelette onion rings samosa steak tacos waffles kinds of thing so these are the images i'll show you each folder so here you can see these are the images of the apple pie so which consists around 200 images and like that each and every has around 200 images so here you can see those things so carrot cake so these are all the images that we have considered for the training purpose so in this way you can check it out here is with the ice cream images the same way we have some few test images for the all so apple pie with 84 images we have given here so these are the waffle images of the test cases so this is about the sum also images of the test cases so this this is about the data set now let us execute the project so before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python on the library is installed in your system 
So first copy the source code location and go to your command prompt. So first go to the drive location. I have pasted the source code in F drive. So first let me go to the drive. So F drive and then type cd space and the location that we have copied and click enter. Now we are into the location of the source code. Now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait till the url has been generated and now you can see the url is generated just copy the url go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox just paste the url that we have copied and click enter and now you can see the home screen and welcome screen on the project with the project title calorie estimation of food and beverages using deep learning so and now here you can see the login menu just click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page only because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button so now you can see the login is success message and click ok now it will be navigated to the recognized part where you need to upload the image that you wanted to find out what is that image and the calorie of it and kindly note that here we have two buttons so first thing is like first select the image that you wanted so first go to the project folder where you can find the few uh, test cases that we have given for example i'll go to the apple pie i'll select an image and first click the submit query and then it says that click the recognize button to predict the result and click ok and now you need to click the recognize button so you need to follow this same step in case if you are giving a wrong step so it may show some uh, uh, error messages in it so here you can see the result so the image that we have uploaded has been previewed here and also here you can see the predicted images apple pie and estimated calorie is 237 for 100 grams quantity and here you can see the nutrition report graph the dynamic graph this varies according to the predicted calories and what is the nutrition available in it so here you can see the carbohydrate is about 67.8 percentage protein about 2.63 percentage and fat about 14.04 percentage this is about the apple pie that image that we have detected so now if you wanted to check with the other image just click this preview menu again so it will be navigated to the recognized page the same thing should be followed so let me go to some other so let me go to donuts part let me select an image now click the submit query and after that it will click the recognize part so now you can see the result page where the donut image that we have selected so here you can see the predicted result is donut and estimated calorie calories for donut is 421 for 100 grams quantity and here you can see the nutrition report of it with the carbohydrates protein and the fat part of it and now let me go to the preview part select the browse and let me go to french fries and let me select a french fries image and click submit and then click the recognize button so now you can see the image that we have selected french fries is the predicted result and the estimated calorie is 312 for 100 grams quantity and here you can see the carbohydrates vitamins proteins and the fat percentage for this french fry that we have selected and now let me go to the preview part again so here you can select the any images that we have trained up with in the model folder as i said we have both the test and the train images you can check with the test or the train so let me show you a sample so let me go to the train folder now randomly select some image from let me go to the hot dog and let me select submit query and then click the recognize and now you can see the predicted result is hot dog and the estimated calorie is 322 for 100 grams quantity and here you can see the carbohydrate percentage fat percentage protein and the vitamin percentage for the hot dog that we have selected now let me go to the preview part so now this time i will go to into the test folder and now let me select some other food 
so let me go to macrons so let me select the macron image and then click submit query and then click the recognize image and now you can see the pictured result is macrons and estimated calories 384 for 100 grams quantity and this is the nutrition report for the macron that we have selected so let me click the preview menu so generally people will be asking what if you give some other image other than the image that we have given for example if you are giving a human image or if you are giving an animal image so it will be showing a random image random result only because we cannot train all sorts of the images into the model so it gives only the random result so you need to give the, the input only from the data set that we have trained up with so you cannot give some other data set so if you wanted to uh, give some other data set you need to train the model again in the back end part so the only after that the model will be predicting the result exactly that what you are trained up with so now let me select uh, some other image in pizza and then click submit query and now you can click recognize so here you can see the image that we have selected and the predicted result is pizza and estimated calories 266 for 100 grams quantity and here is the nutrition report of it and let me click preview so i cannot show you for all the 101 images it takes more time so for that purpose i'll show you with only few cases you can check with the other cases of the train and test images that we have provided it and then click recognize and now you can see the image that we have selected as samosa and estimated calories 261 for 100 grams quality and the nutrition report for the samosa that is predicted has been displayed here so in this way you can check it out and final let me complete with the final one waffles and click submit and click recognize and now you can see the predicted result is waffle then estimated calories 291 for 100 grams quantity and here you can see the nutrition report for the waffle that has been predicted and in this way you can check with the other cases of the images also and let me move to the final part that is the chart part so if you click this chart menu it will be navigated to the chart part of the color estimation of food and beverages using deep learning and kindly note that this is a static chart this is not a dynamic chart uh, this will be um, same only if even if you are giving some different images because this has been predicted from the back end that is the model code from that we have taken this model laws and model accuracy so this, so this chart part contain model laws graph and model accuracy graph with the loss and the epochs that we have used in that and here you can see the model accuracy the accuracy and the epochs that we have used in the model code so this is the static chart on um, final i'll log out and this is all about the project calorie estimation of food and beverages using deep learning and thank you for watching